Waking up in Bergio. It's a beautiful way to wake up with the sun shining, the birds chirping, and the little critters running around. First thing to do, make coffee and breakfast. After we ate and enjoyed our coffee, Jason went ahead and fixed the headlights while I did dishes and the girls played around the campsite for a little bit. What are you doing? Try again. <laughs> what you doing, babe? <laughs> Since we woke up to such a beautiful morning and we are already at the beach, we decided to get on our bathing suits and head on down and go for a swim before we packed up and headed out. This campsite really does have something for everybody. Jason doesn't swim, but he had a great time looking around and sightseeing. And the girls, they had a great time at the beach and on the playground. And there was lots of walking paths and views to see. It was really great. But it was time to move on out. So goodbye to Bergio. And up next is well, you're just going to have to wait and find out. We're starting to think that the storm is following us. Nothing like a good downboard to get the kids to have a little nap. Which is good that the sky cleared up because the views are absolutely beautiful on the road out from Bergio up to the highway. Every once in a while you just have to stop and take it all in. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like we got a headlight out. And finally pulling into Stephenville. We went all around this peninsula on the west coast and it was a beautiful spot actually and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to make it up there 
we pulled off at a place called Hidden Falls. I don't know if we actually found the falls, but we did walk around on these beautiful rocks that were out in the ocean. I suggest you be very careful if you do it because they can be a little slippery in spots, but we had a great time here. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna budge. Try to push it, Erica. Jason, look. Stuck. You're right under this wow. box. Wow. Push. Push. Cape St. George is has a free place here up where the Jeep is now that you can camp overnight and it is welcomed. There are a few different places where you can camp and as long as you clean up after yourself and are very respectable, they are very welcoming to camp for free. Except we didn't because it was very close to the cliffs and with a little one, it made it not safe. So we kept on going and we go out this place called Long Point. On the map that you will see here on the GPS, it honestly is a long point. It takes forever to drive out, the roads are very rough, but at the very end there's a little fishing spot and it's beautiful. We left there, headed on out to Piccadilly's where we set up for the night. It was a beautiful night, kind of windy, but we watched a movie and had a great time. I hope you enjoyed episode 3 and stay tuned for episode 4 to come up soon to this beautiful morning. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.